Hello, DJI community. This is Steve, aka DigDat0. We're going to talk today about rolling back the uh, 104.0100 firmware. Uh, this one basically is the one that is locked down. Uh, this step doesn't work on Mavic Platinum or on the Arctic White unless you installed an SD card. I'm not going to explain what that means. Um, big props to JK's, uh, Jazab, and CS2000 for really just everything in this video. Uh, much respect to the OGs. Uh, respect the GPL guys. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and update my, my modded .700 firmware to the latest version. Um, this is what I've been telling everybody, oh dear God, please don't do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it right now on purpose so I can show you guys that after we update to the latest that we can successfully come back to it. Uh, if you've not done this step, uh, if you've not updated, please stop. Don't update. Um, there's really no reason to. The only reason I'm doing this is just to show you guys that it in fact can be done. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do the update really quick here. I sped up the video, it downloaded, transmitted, and it's updating. Uh, it would be nice if the update process went this fast, but it really doesn't. Sped it up by about 5,000. Um, and so basically uh, what we're going to do after we're on this version is we're going to uh, use the, the Dumbledore tool that we've used in the past. Uh, it has a really cool new anti-unlock function built into it. Uh, so now that we're on the, the 104 100, and again, this one is bad for two reasons. Uh, one, we can't do all the mods, and two, they put in some uh, rollback prevention. Uh, we'll take a look at the parameters here. This is the list of my favorites. You can see the, uh, the height limit is no longer available in here. You can see the value zero over there, or blank, as well as the, uh, the airport limit or the no-fly zone. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is get Dumbledore. So go to GitHub, uh, to Jazab's uh, GitHub repo, and download Dumbledore. The link should be in the comments for you guys. Uh, load up a web browser, put that link in, <clears throat> go over there, click uh, clone or download, download zip file. Once that's op or downloaded, go ahead and open it, extract that out. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and download the Dink Downloader tool. Uh, go to uh, the URL here, download Dink Downloader, click download zip. Go ahead and open that up, extract it out. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to uh, to download the firmware. Um, so go ahead and open up the Dink Downloader tool. It'll load. Uh, from the drop-down list there, just go ahead and pick Mavic on the list. Go ahead and pick whatever one you want. I'm going to pick the .700. Go ahead and pick Download. I went ahead and sped this up. The download should take just a minute or two. Um, uh, once it's done downloading, it'll prompt you where you want to save it. Save it to your desktop or to the same folder as Dumbledore. It'll make it a lot easier when we, we go uh, to actually do the flash process. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and power on the Mavic, connect it to your computer via USB, open DJI Assistant 2, uh, and then when the aircraft shows there, go ahead and click on the, the aircraft and open it up. Uh, if you have those uh, div options on the right over there, we don't need those, so you can close those. After Assistant loads up the, uh, the firmware off the aircraft here, again, you should see the 104.0100. Uh, go ahead and leave Assistant open. Uh, go ahead and open Dumbledore and load the firmware that you just downloaded. So I go to my Dumbledore folder. Go ahead and choose Load Firmware. You'll notice that Assistant is still open. Now I'm going to go ahead and close Assistant, and then I'm going to hit Flash. Uh, when you hit Flash, you're going to get this prompt that basically says, do you want to use the, the latest anti-firmware defeat method? Uh, go ahead and choose Yes. Uh, this is the function that um, the JK's... Uh, had found out recently and had come out with the, the Dummel Racer uh, tool that he put out. Uh, I was going to do a video on that one, but uh, Jazab was nice enough to update the Dumbledore tool, so we're just going to do it on that because you guys are probably more familiar with, uh, with that process. Um, this part of the video is the only part that I haven't sped up. This is in real time, so you can kind of see what you're going to expect. Um, I think once I hit Flash Firmware for it to do the, the anti-rollback defeat, it took about 60 to 90 seconds. Um, it might look like it's hung there. It, in fact, is not. It is working in the background. Uh, and what it's doing is it's basically doing a couple things. Um, I'm not going to pretend to understand how it's doing everything, but it uploads a file. It defeats a, a race condition based upon an exploit. Uh, and then once that's done, it uploads another file, uh, tries to load it. There's a race condition that then allows... Um, us to get in there and just defeat the, the anti-rollback. Um, you know, big credit to the, the OGs, the slackers, and all those guys out there that are doing the hard work here. I did not create this, I'm just helping to, to share it. So once that's done, you should see anti-rollback defeated. 
uh, go ahead and click OK on that prompt and the flashing process will begin. Now again, that goes into two stages. The first is the file copy. It should take one to two minutes. After the file copy is done, the update process will start. Uh, at that point, you're going to want to open up the DGI Assistant app and watch it go. So you can see here we've got the file copy going. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, That's what I just said. So go, again, go ahead and close the tool. Uh, open DGI Assistant 2 and the uh, aircraft should be listed there. Go ahead and click on the aircraft. Again, if you have those dev options up on the right there, we don't need those, close those. Go ahead and click on your Mavic Pro, and you should see here that the, the update has started. I went ahead and I sped this up. Uh, this update process will take about 10 or 15 minutes right here. Uh, I sped it up 7,000 times. Um, in my experience, this actually might hang. And so if you get to uh, 82% and it hangs, do the RC test. Uh, if it uh, finishes, you're good. Uh, sorry, if it's finished, you're good. If it's still going, let it hang, let it keep going. Uh, basically hit that back arrow, go back, uh, come back to the aircraft and let it reload. Now if you're at 104, uh, 100 minus, you need to update one more time. If it says the lower firmware right there, you're good, no more steps needed. But if it says minus, we gotta do it one more time. So open up a Dumbledore, choose load firmware, I go ahead and close assistant, and then click flash firmware. This time we're gonna say no to the prompt to defeat in the anti-rollback feature. Uh, we don't need that this time, we're just gonna give it a kick in the butt and uh, just update the, the firmware. So go ahead and click no, go ahead and click okay. Again, the file copy will go, that should take about one to two minutes. Uh, go ahead and click okay when it's done there. Uh, we can go ahead and close Dumbledore, open DGI Assistant 2, and then the update should finish where it left off. And again, in my case, it hung at 82% before. Um, never actually saw 100%. I've done this a couple times. This seems to be fairly typical for reasons I honestly don't understand. Um, but later in the second time, basically it takes off where the last one stopped or where it got hung. And so uh, in my case, it went from 66% up to 99%, hung at 99%. So if you get to 99%, it's probably done. Do the RC test. If it connects, you're finished. If it doesn't connect, you're not done yet. Hit back, load the aircraft again, and when you pull it back up, uh, you should see the, the lesser slash updated firmware. Uh, so in that case, you've successfully defeated the, uh, the 104-100. Um, you can do whatever mod you want. I'm not gonna go into the mods right now. You can watch my other videos on modifying the, the Mavic parameters. Uh, again, big props to JK's, uh, Jazab, CS2000, all the OGs, uh, all those guys in the community. Uh, much respect to you guys. Really, really love what you're doing. I'm just here to, to share. Uh, so for the community, uh, support these guys. I just make some videos and share it with you guys. They're really the, the true heroes here. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want. Uh, and keep flying, guys. Take care. Bye.